Hello. I would like to share with you a science project that I do every year, and it's called the Greenhouse Effect. And we are quite successful after about two weeks. Just look at these plants. They are growing, and it is always exciting for the kids to see that what they planted is actually growing in only two weeks. We leave them in the sun by the window, and the key is to make a little greenhouse. Some of them are not quite growing as fast as others. And that's why they keep a data, a record of what the plant looks like every day. And this is a good one because there's a changes about every single day. I mean, one day it could look like this and another day it could look like, oh, well, let's just say in two weeks, look how look how fast these are growing. These are lima beans, most of them, and I think the ones that aren't growing is other uh, seeds that students um, wanted to bring in themselves. And I also have uh, pinto beans. But the ones that really grow really well for students to learn is um, and to be able to observe is the lima beans. They were just beans in the dirt. And look at that. You can see I get see-through cups. So that you can see how the roots take place. This one is really growing. What they do is they get clear uh, cups. They put their names on them. I like to write their names on them so they're nice and clear and easy to see. I take two clear cups. I turn one upside down on the other one, and we tape it. And the students tape around to make sure that the water cannot escape so that when the sun comes, the water evaporates, and it wa the plant is watered and the uh, greenhouse effect happens and it waters itself. They don't need to water it. Um, they add soil, the beans or seeds, and they put pebbles on the bottom or the top. And they punch, they can punch three holes in the top if you want. And I think that's what I'm going to have um, some students do. We didn't do the three hole punch this time. Um, the pebble barrier stops the evaporation of water from the soil, and they are a great way to observe, uh, absorb sorry, excess water in the container, but also to release water when the pot is drying out. This combined with a top dressing is a natural way to aid waters, uh, to aid um, your plant's water consumption. So that's what this is doing now. This person will probably have to go ahead and take that top off today so the plants can continue to grow. But I don't think, well, maybe, I, I don't think, we're getting, we're getting a four-day weekend coming up, so maybe after the weekend take the top off because they will not be here to water the plant, and we don't want them to die. But um, it's a science project that's easy, and it's fun. The kids like to see the change every day. Have a good one. Like and subscribe.